Hi everyone! So, um, today I am going to talk about my favorite foundations. Um, I am the hugest, hugest? I don't think that's a word. Huge, I'm a huge, 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 um, foundation junkie. I think, I don't know anyone else that buys as many foundations as I do. Um, yeah. I buy way too many foundations. Yeah. <laughs> um, but pretty, I think it just, I just, I suffered with acne all through high school and, you know, up until now I've, I, I mean, now my face is significantly better than when it was before, but, um, it's still, it, the acne left a lot of hyperpigmentation in my skin and acne scars that I'm slowly trying to get to go away. Um, but because of that, I, I feel more comfortable wearing a foundation. Um, now, kind of a little background on my skin type. I am oily. I'm an oil slick. I have a really oily T-zone. Um, usually my cheeks tend to be pretty, like, pretty normal. Um, but my T-zone is, um, oily. So, let's get started. I'm going to start with my all-time favorite foundation. This foundation I've repurchased time after time after time. Um, uh, I tend to be the person that I'll have one foundation and then, you know, I'll use it for a couple days and then I switch to another foundation. It's just with the same thing with products. You don't want to... First of all, you don't want to stick to a product for too long because you're going to love a product and how it goes on or the effect that it gives you, but your skin eventually starts to get used to it and it no longer provides that effect. So that's why I always switch foundations. I, I don't use the same foundation every day. Um, so my all-time favorite product that I've repurchased time after time is the Makeup Forever Matte, Mel Matte Velvet Plus and it looks like this. I'm in shade... 40 so I'm pretty light um I this is it's it doesn't say anything in the front but this is the one it's a matte finish it's very liquidy um so it's not very thick but it's very very buildable it comes in dispensing a little bottle like this oops I just used it out my bad um but it's I would say you could, this could be anywhere from light to full coverage. Um, light, if um, I've applied it with a beauty blender, actually my beauty blender's right here and it's also dirty. Um, a wet beauty blender, you apply it with this and it gives you sheer, sheer coverage. Um, or if I were to apply it with um, my hands, that would give me like a medium coverage. And if you want a really, really full coverage with a flat top kabuki, um, something like, sorry, these are dirty. This is from Sedona Lace and it's just a flat top. Um, and this would give you full coverage. I love, love, love this foundation. It gives you a flawless finish. Um, and I love it because it can double up as a concealer. The next one, which I would say is a dupe for that foundation, um, drugstore is the um cover girl three and one cover girl outlast stay fabulous three and one and i apologize mine's disgusting right now um it looks like this and i'm in medium beige and it comes in like a little pump like this as you can i'm literally out i've been having to like use the like open it and yeah so i love this product i do think it's due to um it stays true to its claims um it's a foundation obviously and then um it's i think they say it can work as a, a concealer and a primer um i've used it without a primer and it has amazing staying power um amazing i it has the same finish as the matte villa plus that's the only reason why i would compare it as a dupe um because they have the same finish and they look exactly the same but um the staying power on this is like 10 times better than that one. Um, this one doesn't break down on me. It's actually what I'm wearing right now. It doesn't break down on me. Um, it's buildable. It, I wouldn't say... No. Yes. 
Um, I was going to say, I wouldn't say this would be sheer. Um, I think it'd be more of a medium because I've tried to apply it with like a sponge and it still gives you really good coverage. So probably medium to full. Um, I usually just apply it with my fingers one coat and I'm good. It's, you know, I still see some of like my imperfections um, popping through. But again, I double this up as a concealer because it does say it works as a concealer. And it does a great, great job. So I love this foundation and I th yeah, I think should say my shade so um this one's another one that is one of my favorites and for oily skin it's great so that's that one um the next one that i would say is also one of my favorites is um the estee lauder double wear um and i'm in shade 3w1 tawny 37 um this one's like a bottle like this which i'm not a big fan of i just feel like these are they're a mess. Um, but I love this foundation for its staying power. Um, I can't remember how many hours they claim that it'll stay, but literally it'll stay everywhere. Like anytime I have an event or something, um, it is full coverage. So anytime I have like somewhere to go, like an event, I went to a concert on Tuesday and, um, I've put this on and like obviously you're dancing and sweating and everything and at the end my, your your face still looks fine it still looks flawless so um and yeah it provides a very flawless fi finish the next one I'm gonna talk about is the Lancome I'm not gonna be able to say this Taint Italy Ultra looks like this and um it also looks like a little pump as well I should have cleaned my foundations before I went on camera. Sorry. Um, and I'm in Bisque Zero W. Um, this one, oh my god, the finish is beautiful. It's it's like a velvet finish. Velvet satin. I, I don't know. I can't explain it. But it's so beautiful. Um, this one is full coverage. I I put on a little bit and it's like pretty full coverage so but it's full coverage but it's not cakey like y why I love it so much is you put this on and it's like one coat is full coverage but I can still feel like my skin's like it can my skin can breathe like you can still tell it's my skin like and that's when you know you have a good foundation when it pr covers everything but you can still it still looks like it's your skin it doesn't look like you're wearing a thousand pounds of makeup so I love this one for that reason um, it says I'm pretty sure yeah this is like I think they claim like 24 hours on this I don't wear foundation for that long but um, I don't think that's true the only reason I I'm really picky I'm about foundations um, what I would consider a long-lasting foundation is one that is going to look the same from when you applied it in the morning. Um, for me, that's like, wow, that's like a really, really good foundation. That's why I love this, um, the 3-in-1, the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation, because that's true to this one. Even though they don't claim that this is a long-lasting foundation, it does. Um, like, I'll wear it to work in the morning I put on my foundation maybe at 7 o'clock in the morning and I there's days that I won't take it off till like 8 9 o'clock at night and so that's like more than 12 hours and it still looks like how it looks like when I put it on um yeah I'll have to blot but when I blot I just use like a tissue I don't I never reapply any more makeup on um but it still looks the same with this one though this one not so much this one has a very 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 pretty finish to it right when you put it on and well, maybe i would say it gives you maybe about five hours before it starts breaking down and it's it says it's oil free it's for oily people but um it's not if i'm like it's, it breaks down it doesn't i mean i love it for again special events things like that or, and um Okay, so my next liquid foundation is the Makeup Forever HD foundation. Looks like that. Um, I'm in 127 and it comes in a pump like this as well. Um, this is another one. 
this one photographs beautifully I guess that's why it's HD but it has a beautiful finish um, this one it is intended it is oil free but I think this one's more intended for people who have more normal skin because it almost feels like it does give you leave you like a dewy finish um, it's not matte it's more between like a satin and a dewy finish um, but once you put like a setting powder over it it's matte um, but I love the finish I love how it photographs um, so yeah this is another one of those good products um, next I'm going to talk about um, cream foundations I only have two of those um, and the first one is the Revlon Colorstay Whipped Foundation. Um, I'm in 320 Warm Golden and it looks like this. And it comes in a bottle like that. So you can tell it's a cream. It doesn't move anywhere. Um, oops. I love this foundation because a little bit goes a long way. It is definitely full coverage. Um, it does last all day. Um, it gives you, again, a really flawless finish. The next foundation is the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. It's like, it comes in a bottle like this. I am, I think it's M52. It just has numbers. I think it's M52. Um, I love, um, I bought this foundation. Everyone was raving about this foundation, I think, like, about a year ago. No, not a year ago. I don't think it's been out that long. Maybe like a few months ago, everyone was like raving about this foundation. I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to spend that much on this foundation to try it. But my favorite concealer is her con is the Kat Von D conceal tattoo concealer. Um, I love that concealer. That, that that's what I use for my under eyes every day. And um, I was like, well, you know, if I love the the concealer so much, it doesn't go into my fine lines. I was like, maybe I'll give the foundation a try. I did. Uh, it gives you the most flawless, flawless, fl oops, <laughs> the most flawless, flawless, flawless finish ever. Um, but again, it's kind of like that, the color stay foundation that I, the only way I feel like it applies nicely is with the wet sponge. I feel it, they have almost the same consistency, um, but any other way of applying it, I feel like it does look cakey. It doesn't, it doesn't look natural to me. So, and I think it has more of like a matte finish. Um, it is definitely really, really nice. I really like the finish. It says, again, a 24 hour resistant proof. Um, that, again, 24 hours, I can't say yes or no, but I can say at least 12 hours, yes. Um, and it is a matte finish, so I really, really, and I love the packaging. It's like so cute. It's a little pump. Um, it's super slim, and it has, it comes with a little like cover thing, because I've, I've traveled with this and I was like oh no like this is gonna like be a mess but it comes with a little thing so like you stick it in there and so it won't go down so I really really like that yes that one's perfect the last foundation that I'm gonna talk about today is and I'm kind of disappointed because this is the foundation I tend to use pretty much every summer um, because I again I'm really really oily I sweat um, and I tend to do a lot of like outside things during the summer. Um, I mean, I live in Southern California. Um, I'll go to like Disneyland or, um, I know I went camping, which camping's out of the question because I don't, I didn't use makeup in camping, but, um, like I'll go to like theme parks or, you know, um, like be out and about and it's pretty hot. And I love this one because it's a cream to powder foundation and um it's this one from urban decay super super cute packaging um here i'll show you it's like a compact it comes like that and then you lift it and it's for your little brush thing and um it comes with this little brush but i never use the brush for this but this is okay so it's it's called the surreal skin cream to powder foundation so it's a cream like if you look at it really closely it's a cream and um but it dries instantly into a powder my best way to apply it with this one is with a kabuki brush like this I just tap it in there and I just like stipple it on and then I blend it out 
I like it because it gives you a flawless finish. Um, it's buildable because it, I would say this one is light to medium. Um, but so you can apply it one time and I, like I mean I noticed like you know my imperfections are like I have a lot of redness on my cheeks and like on this side and this side so I notice I'm like okay it's still, the redness is still there but I go back with a little bit and I just dab it on those spots and then it looks really really pretty it look and then um I personally set set it just on my t-zone with like another powder but it's a powder so you don't necessarily need to set it if you're not as oily as me but I like it because it does last a long time. Even though it doesn't claim to last a long time, it lasts a super, super long time. Um, and it's nice for the summer because it is a powder and it's not so heavy. And um, I noticed, like, if I sweat or whatever, it doesn't come off. Like, it doesn't run or anything. And I know I said I'm disappointed earlier. I'm disappointed because I've gone on YouTube and I think there's only a bit, like, a couple videos on this product. I don't know if it's just like one of those products that's like unrecognized or whatnot, but I like this is an amazing product. The product that I always use for the summertime. You can use it any other time. I just love it because um, I don't want to use a lot of product on my face during the summer because a I sweat, oil, it's hot, um, and it's not that many products. And um, yeah, so I love this foundation. So that's, that was all my products. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, hopefully you guys try one of these out if you can or if you're a foundation junkie like myself. Um, hopefully either you have one of these or you try it out. Uh, I really recommend if you haven't heard of this one, try this one. I love, 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 love this one. Um, especially since we're getting into summer. Um, but also, I, I would love to hear if you guys have other foundations for oily skin that you've tried that you love. Um, you know, I, again, I don't mind trying new foundations. I'm going to go buy today that new L'Oreal. I think it's L'Oreal or CoverGirl. I don't know. I can't remember now. They make it a whipped foundation, a new one, but I'm going to go buy that today. Um, but... Um, yeah, just comment. Let me know if there's any that you guys have tried that, you know, have worked for you. I'm always open to trying new ones. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our page. Um, and, yeah, if there's anything else you'd like to see next, um, just shoot over a comment. I definitely am open to that. I know Christina said she wanted to do the tin can challenge I think I saw a couple videos and I got scared but she swears my I'm such a picky eater so I don't know how that would work and I'm kind of scared but I promised her if we got enough likes that on the, her video her last video which was the um I think her May favorites if we get enough likes on that video then maybe I'll do it I can't promise I'm not gonna throw up though so Oh, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, just don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our page. And um, hopefully I'll be doing another look on this look that I wore to the concert I just went to the other day. I went to go see Pitbull, yay, at the Hollywood Bowl. It was an amazing concert. It was my birthday gift from the girls at work. And uh, it was beautiful. So beautiful. So um yeah i hope to do this look soon so just let me know if you'd like to see that and if there's anything else if not um i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching bye